What's up everybody? My name is Erin and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio and welcome back to Children of Silent Town. We are still in chapter three. Let's recap our investigation notes. We have a lot of items. So the clues we've collected, why do people disappear? The farmer says they capture those who are too loud and the old lady by the river says it's all their fault. What are the monsters like? Everyone describes them differently, but none of the descriptions resemble what I saw. What are the voices in the forest? Ravy can hear the song of the forest, too. Why is no one looking for the missing people? The old lady by the river says the posters are there to tell us who's gone, not to look for them. And more clues, the crazy old lady knows mom's song, as she claims she's the one who taught it to her. And Red says that adults use monsters to get rid of us. Which is insane. Um, can we talk to this, to anyone anymore about anything, maybe? No, okay. Alright, well, let's go... This old man, this crotchety old man over here... Over in this area, it said something about flower. We know the flower that he's talking about is in Olivia's garden. Olivia is still in our house. We're very, very upset and scared of her. How do I get over? Yeah, it's locked. Can we use our grappling hook any? No? Am I supposed to combine it with something? Maybe the stone? Huh. Well, ain't I just at a loss here? I shouldn't go back yet. I haven't finished my research and anyway. I don't really want to spend time with Olivia. Yeah, I know. I was kind of hoping uh, maybe that would trigger something of like, well, we can't ask her to open her gate. We'll have to just break in ourselves. Do we finish talking to him? Let's see, just tighten something here and fasten that. I have some bolts left over, but I'm sure I won't need them. I can't wait until he's done. I'm tired of going to the well every time. The woodworker keeps his logs here. Yes, yes, we're all well aware. Uh, maybe if I sing a song by by her house I need to give her her scissors back but I, I feel like I need them to cut the flower right let's get up over here in the middle oh dang it thought I was on to something Oh, I have... Okay, this makes sense. I need to... The gears let me know I can interact with the thing. Adventure time! That wasn't so hard. Olivia cares a lot about her flowers. This one in particular is lovely. Maybe we didn't need the scissors. We got a thibiscus flower. Better not tell her I took one. Well, it was the only one she had. I'm sure she'll notice. Olivia could come home anytime now. I better get out of here. I should hide the evidence.
Good, now my crime will go unnoticed. I feel like... I feel like I missed an opportunity. <laughs> to get a sticker. Or maybe go inside of her house. Oh well, never mind. I'll just have to live with that decision. For the rest of my life. <laughs> I'll try not to think too much about it. Excuse me, is this a thibiscus? Where did you find that? Let me see. It really is a thibiscus. Did you know that with the right care, the cut flowers can live for up to a month? Unfortunately, I, I won't be able to make it to live that long. She would have known how. She who? We have to do the song again. No, we already did this. Did his mom go missing too? That wasn't so bad. Okay, two children looking at the flowers. Now I remember. I'd like to ask you some questions. Who taught you all these things about flowers? My sister says that the secret is in the amount of water. They don't need a lot of it, otherwise they'll rot. She had a real passion for these flowers. And it wasn't just that, she took care of us all, as if we were the flowers of her favorite garden. But then she left us only weeds. She disappeared into the forest. She was so responsible, yet she lost her way so easily. She abandoned us. I haven't forgiven her. How did it happen? Those cursed monsters. Didn't you try to save her? Little girl. Monsters exist and cannot be defeated. They will always be out there in the forest. This is why we have rules to stick together. Do not forget that. This... I don't have a place to keep it. Maybe I should throw it away. No, I'll take it. Yes, yes, whatever. He doesn't seem in the mood to talk again. Well, I guess we have nothing to talk about. Our clues got updated though. Good for the cherries. I guess I'm done with your shears. You can have them back if you want. <laughs> Here's your shears. Thanks, Lucy. I was starting to worry. Can I take the rake back? Boo. I've got I've got a doll, I've got a hammer. I've got a stone, a flower, and my notes. Blue still chilling here?
Ah. Did you ever talk to Luca? Yeah, sometimes. Were you friends? Well, yes, maybe. He was to me, at least. He liked being alone. I think he was also older than us. I admired him. He taught me lots of things about hide and seek and camping, too. I know he wasn't comfortable with the others, but with me, it was different. Of course, he still treated me like a kid, but I think he trusted me. But I admit that I never got him completely. He often spoke about things I didn't understand. I'm sorry. I should have talked with you as soon as he disappeared. You couldn't have known. No one knew, and I didn't talk much about it. Because I think it might be my fault. How so? Did you do something wrong? No, I didn't do anything. One day he was here, and the next, poof, he was gone. I just know that the people around me keep disappearing one after the other, so maybe I'm the problem? I'm so afraid I'll be alone. It's not like that, I'm sure. In any case, I won't disappear. Thanks, Lucy. Did you ever find out how it happened? In the last few days, he was saying some strange things, stranger than normal, and I didn't see him around as much. One day, I went looking for him at our usual place, but he wasn't there. All of his things were gone, too. It was weird. I looked for him for quite a while, but I didn't find him anywhere. A few days later, his poster was hanging up, and they said he'd disappeared. I had already guessed it by then. Remember anything unusual before that happened? Well, just the things he talked about. He told me about the roars from the forest, and how if you listen carefully, you can hear something more in them, like a song. I thought a lot about his words, and you know, I have a theory now. I think the forest deceives you. First you hear its voice, and then you disappear. I have to go. See you later. Dear, bye. Um. Hmm, seems like I have a lot of evidence now, and it's getting darker. I should go home now. Okay. Do I follow the dog or do I go home? I I'm going to go home. But the dog What's the more interesting thing to do? What if I just what if I just go up to the gate? I don't I don't go through the gate. I'm just I'm just there. Hey, what are you doing here? The forest is dangerous. Come on, let's go back. Wait. Uh-oh. Getting further away. <gasps> oh no. Ah! Where... Where are you? That's very upsetting. There's something stuck on the gate. It's Cole's fur. I guess he went into the forest. Will he be okay? 
Oh, yes, Dinger. And I don't like how this tree has a face over here. You guys see that? Very Wizard of Oz vibes. Uh, yeah, I think we missed a sticker at Olivia's house. Uh, that hurts my soul. All right, let's go home. Maybe we can put all our stuff out on the table in front of us. Great, dad isn't back yet. I learned a lot today. So let's see. The forest deceives you. Who knows what that means? And then there's those voices. Maybe the monsters trick people and somehow drag them into the forest? Maybe it happened to mom too. If that's true, then we need to save her. Everyone told me we shouldn't look for those who disappeared, but... We should try, I'm sure of it. I need a backpack, some rations, and... and... If I told dad, would he come with me? Dad, hi! Lucy, so you're home now? I was out looking for you. Tom said he saw- Tom saw you poking around in his fields. Didn't you read the note? Why would you leave the house? No, it's not like that. I was at home, then Olivia came. She said it was important, so I went looking for you. But you were busy, and when I came back home, Olivia was already gone. Are you sure? Absolutely, yes. I literally talked to everybody in the village. You can ask. Okay, I'll have to see her later. Hey, I want to know what happened today. Or hey, want to know what happened today? Hmm? I discovered how, so how mom's song continues. Don't. No, stop. What? But it's mom's song. Lucy, I'm not in the mood. Oh. Tell me, where did you learn this? From this weird old lady. Is the old is the weird old lady a part of the forest? Is is she a fae? She says she taught mom all those songs. You talked with that crazy old woman? Lucy, you must never listen to what she says. Stay away from her. But she seems to know things about the forest. Maybe she could help us. Enough. You will not talk to her. That's final. No. I always have to listen, but there's never a reason. Exactly. Lucy? None of you adults tell us anything. You only talk about what to do, what not to do, but then people disappear and you just stand there doing nothing. And mom, mom disappeared and no one's looking for her. She's waiting for us. She needs help. I, I don't know where mom is. Lucy. Lucy, listen. I know you want answers. Let me tell you a story. It's important, so listen carefully. Are we finally gonna get some, some kind of answer? Here, sit for a while. It's a story that takes place when I was around your age. You see, your mom and I and another girl were great friends. That girl was my sister. 
We also thought that what the adults were doing wasn't quite right, so I know how you're feeling. One day when another kid disappeared, we decided to go looking for him. We were sure it was the right thing to do, but we were wrong. That day, my sister never came back. Believe me when I say that I know you're, what you're, how you're feeling right now, Lucy. But mom and I learned the hard way that the rules in this town are the only way to stick together. There is no way to find those who are gone. Monsters exist, but as long as we behave, they won't be able to take us. Do you understand this? Will you promise that you won't go after her, Lucy? Yes. Is, is it true that the forest was different once? Is this another tale from that crazy old lady? Her words are just fantasy. But we have to stay together and face the truth. No more songs, no more research. It's for your own good. Will you let me protect you? I miss her. I miss her too. rip out <gasps> well how's that gonna affect the rest of the game Chapter four. Oh, don't like that. Run away. Oh, little Timmy by the well, ask for help. Oh. Are these all the people that have gone missing? I don't want to look. I'm uncomfortable. Voices from the forest, I heard them again last night. They're scary and melancholic. I promise, no more questions. I wish they'd stop altogether. Squinty's not in my drawer. Strange. Who knows where he's gone? I forgot to return this to the farmer's toolbox. It could still be useful, though. That's a good question. What all? What all do we still have in our little, our little bag? Just the doll and the hammer. The hibiscus withered. I suppose nothing lasts forever. 
The sling didn't last long. It's okay though. I'll keep it as a memento. This is Squinty, my cat. He's such a troublemaker. How I wish I couldn't hear the roars of the forest. It's my clothes trunk's tongue. It's an extra blanket for when I feel cold. I feel cheated. We had so many things in our, our little knapsack at the end of the last chapter. It's an old broken mirror. It belonged to my grandparents. Dad's room, it's locked. Oh no, she's already acknowledged or accepted that her mother's not coming home. Good morning, Lucy. I'm making breakfast. What would you like? Mayonnaise or jam sandwich? Ooh, tough choice. Jam? Uh, Dad, have you seen Squinty? He hasn't eaten yet. Well, he doesn't usually go far. He must be hiding in some drawer. Um, okay, I'll look for him a bit more. That's concerning. Where's my kitty cat? This is dad's oil. He says it's good for everything. Frying vegetables, greasing skin, unscrewing bolts. It sounds a bit extreme, but if dad says so, it must be true. Oh, a spare cork. Mine. I prefer jam for breakfast, but mayonnaise is tasty too. These are the various tools for the fireplace. Very bulky. Squinty's personal cat flap. Ugh, there are crates everywhere. Squinty, are you in here? The eternal battle between order and chaos is taking place here in this cellar. I think chaos is about to win. Another cork. Interesting, we're collecting corks. Another cork. Whatever will we do with these? Just don't know. Bottles are all empty. Dried fish can last for years if there are no hungry cats nearby. It's an old rusty sickle. Somehow there are always more crates in here every time I look. It's our dad drinking away his problems. Because that's no bueno. Sometimes dad puts salami in the soup instead of sausage. I don't like it very much. Mom would never have done that. A huge wheel of cheese. Failed hammering tests. This is, can we take it with us? We're, we're, we're gonna run away from home. That's just what we're gonna do. This cupboard does what most furniture does. It contains stuff. Squinty, where are you? Bestie, Squinty. I miss you, Squinty. Let's just check one more time. I guess we can't. Can we leave the house, maybe? If our dad will let us. I'm going out to look for Squinty. Oh, okay. Don't wander too far. Breakfast will be ready soon. 
Yep. Squinty, look here. I got food. Who are you? Aren't you hungry today? We got our water. Hey, the water's flowing. Giovanni must have repaired the pipes. Obviously someone forgot to turn it off. There we go, no more waste. But, but what? Oh, I guess we know what the corks are for. <laughs> water everywhere. Giovanni said I'd have all the water I wanted. But I was hoping it'd come from the faucet. Dad sees this disaster. Luckily all that noise is covering it up for now. Hopefully that guy standing like five feet away isn't gonna rat us out. If the water jet is too strong, I can't press the cork in. I have to stop the water first. Yes, Squinty, you are a true ninja. I'll just have to follow his tracks to know where he went. I wasn't even looking at that. <laughs> Maybe this valve shuts off the water? Ugh! It's no good, I can't move it! Squinty's tracks end here. This pilot gets more and more confusing whenever I look at it. Was that Squinty? He sounded scared. He must be in trouble again. I have to find a way through. It's an abandoned kennel. The dog never came back. Oh my gosh. And there's a new wood woodcutter here. Oh, it's Red's dad. Why is he here? Yeah, that's right. I think we saw him at the picnic. Wait, what are you doing? The mayor asked me to tend to this workshop. I'm taking apart what we don't need anymore. Are you going to be the new woodworker? No way. I'm not the type to go wandering around in the forest. Also, I have no idea how to work wood. So, who's going to provide wood to the town? They'll find someone else. Someone who is not me, that's for sure. Listen, Lucy, I have a lot to do and I need space to work. Don't be buzzing around or you can get hurt. Hmm? Do I need to get by him? I didn't like this very much, but it's sad that it's being thrown away. Dang, we are hurting. Dad said not to go too far. I better listen to him. Yeah, yeah, we have to shut the water off first. <laughs> I doubt we need the hammer, but sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. We need like a wrench. There's a nice hearty breakfast today. Um, and now we can take it. All right. I didn't know if there was something else we could grab if we just went back and clicked on a second time and there doesn't appear to be that. So let's go. Uh, we got the oil now. Maybe that's all we need to put it on the valve here. Did 
physical strength couldn't move the valve, but the strength of my logic did the trick. Thank goodness. Done. Now the hole is nicely sealed with the cork. I need to hammer that in. Now that is a job well done. Thank goodness all these corks are the right size. Hmm, the cork is a bit smaller than the hole. It doesn't fit. Oh, come on. What about this doll? <laughs> Boo! Yeah. Oh, all right, that worked. Nothing worked. Oh, this fell off the pile. Got a cloth. Can we now combine? Yes. Now we can hammer it in. Hammer that baby right in there. Sealed. It looks secure. Let's give it a quick tap. Or maybe not. Maybe we don't need to. Nice shot. Okay, I wasn't sure what I was expecting from that. Did the water stop? Lucy! Oh no, it's dad. If he thinks I'm the one who flooded the yard, I'll be in trouble. Lucy, where are you? Oh, hi. Already at work? I need to find Squinty first, then I'll make up an excuse. And this, what is this place? Squinty, how did you get up there? Don't tell me you can't come down. With all the trouble you make, maybe you should just stay there. Kidding, kidding, I'll get you down. How? I can't climb up there. Oh, there's the ladder. Just what I need. I can't get it down. Mm, the rope looks rather thick. Does anyone live here? It looks uninhabited. It's like a school or a library. This clock must have stopped years ago. Doors open. I guess maybe stray cats live there. Can we go in? Maybe not. I threw away my song book. I can't climb up there. Of course not. And I need thick rope. Surely, surely the solution isn't to to smash it off, that's what I thought. I don't think anyone will mind. You got a shard of glass. Even better! I've done it, the ladder is free. Let's go save a kitten. Here I am, troublemaker. If you don't behave, you'll just stay there, okay? Ah! 
Oh no. What? Oh no. Uh, why does trouble always find me? Well, at least you you can just call for your dad over the fence. It's fine. Not like he's far away. Eh. Now how do we... Show yourselves! Are you here to break more windows if I catch you? Oh, what's this? We were neighbors the whole time. Years without fruit and then two ripe delicious intruders appear. Get off my tree. It, it's me, I'm stuck up here. What? Oh. Haha, <laughs> I see. I understand. What a mess. Could you help me? <laughs> She's going as fast as she can, Lucy. I saw her before. She wasn't this slow. Poor old me. <sighs> Here you are. Take it easy, little girl. The ladder is old. <laughs> so he's the one who's always getting you into trouble, is he? I didn't know someone was living here. I thought... Oh, you don't say. I just thought you'd break my window and cut my rope. Is that it? Everyone just wants to pray plank, play pranks and vandalize the crazy old lady's house, right? I should make an example out of you. But the window's already broken. The house looked abandoned. First of all, a lady shouldn't play with such tool. This hammer is hereby confiscated. No, what? I lost the hammer. Should I have left it in my room? Do you, do you live here? Oh ho, so do. So I do. I tied that knot so tight that I couldn't use the ladder anymore. Guess that's not a problem anymore. Haha. <laughs> well, thanks for the help, but now I really have to go. What's the hurry? You know that cat of yours came here yesterday as well. I found this on the ground. He must have brought it. It's yours, right? Ah, uh, that's a page of my diary. Yes, it's mine, but how? <laughs> you should take better care of your stuff. I saw that a note was missing. I thought I'd add it in myself. Uh... Thanks. But I don't sing anymore. Oh, how come? Didn't you like to sing with your mother? Yes, but I had to stop. Dad says I'll get into trouble like her if I don't. I don't want it to, to happen to me. Ah, I understand. So your mother disappeared because she used to sing. I don't know. I just think it's important to respect the rules, that's all. And there's a rule that doesn't allow singing? No, it's not really a rule, I don't think. At least I've never heard of it. But you decided to stop singing anyway. Well, well, if you think this is the best thing to do, you should avoid singing never again. And that thing I gave you is useless. Return it immediately. Why? It's just useless. I'll throw it away. I don't want rubbish in my garden. No, I, I mean... Even if it is useless, I would like to keep it as a memory. Alright. It's yours. You can keep it. Grunt. My poor windows, those brats are worse than weeds. Next time, frogs on their heads, chased by rats. Ah. 
We'd better leave Squinty. Dad hasn't returned yet. I know I said I'd never sing again, but I really miss it. All right, we can use our songs again. I've been recording for a while now, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here of Children of Silent Town. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.